Okay, let's talk a little bit more about the eigenvalue and the eigenvector that we just saw in the last video. We look at this matrix, this 3 by 3 guy here, and what we discovered, what we proved, was that lambda equals negative 1 was an eigenvalue for this matrix, and an eigenvector that corresponds to it is 1, 1, 1. That's an R3. So let's visualize this and see what this means from a uh, visual linear transformation type of standpoint here. So here I have drawn the x, y, z axes in R3, and if you want you can think of the z axis continuing down this way, x continuing back this way, and y continuing over this way. So it defines this 3 by 3 system. What this vector, let's plot this vector here, this would go out 1 on the x axis, over 1 on the y axis, and up 1 on the z axis. So I'm going to draw that by sort of penciling in a little uh, square, a 1 by 1 square, and this vector would point up, and this is the shadow that it would leave here in the uh, in the x y plane, right there. So that's the vector one one one. Now that is an eigenvector for this uh, matrix M, and that means if I take M times this matrix, I get negative one negative one negative one. But in fact, uh, any scalar multiple of one 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 will also be an eigenvector for M with the same eigenvalue. So, for example, two two two, which would go twice as far out from the origin, would also be an eigenvector. So what this eigenvector does is it defines a line that continues up and over through R three, and then back and down through R three. This line contains all the eigenvectors that correspond to lambda equals negative 1, and any vector that lies on this line must be an eigenvector for lambda equals 1. Now notice something else that's special about this line. It's not just any line through R3. It goes through the origin in R3. So that makes it not just a subset of R3. It's actually a subspace of R3. This line that contains all the eigenvectors corresponding to lambda equals negative 1 is a subspace of R3. We're going to call this the eigenspace, eigenspace for that eigenvalue, lambda equals negative 1. In general, the eigenspace of an eigenvalue is the subspace of Rn, R3 in this case, that contains all the eigenvectors that correspond to that eigenvalue. In this particular case, that space was spanned by one vector, 1, 1, 1. So that space there is a line through the origin, but that space taken as a whole is called the eigenspace. Every point, every vector that lies on that line, that lies in that subspace, will be an eigenvector for the matrix that has eigenvalue lambda equals negative 1. Is the eigenspace for an eigenvalue always just a line, or can it be more than that? Well, stay tuned for the next video, and you'll see.